Welcome to Tickabilla. Now, I've been practicing my animal noises today. Listen. <laughs> was that an elephant, Paul? Yes, it was, Lorna. Well done. <laughs> Did you know that an elephant sound is called a trumpet? A trumpeting elephant. <laughs> tell you what, why don't we pretend to be animals? Jungle animals. Hey, that's a great idea, Lana. Look, you can join in too if you like. Let's start with the elephant. Now make yourself big with a trunk that can sway. <laughs> Put a tail on the back and trump it away. My turn now. Um <gasps> How about a beautifully coloured bird with lovely feathers? A parrot. Sit on a branch with feathers. So bright. Have you got your feathers? Good. Squawk through the day. Squawk, 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 squawk. And sleep through the night. Squawk, 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 squawk. I wonder what other jungle animals there are. Snakes! Ah, hello. Oh. Ooh, hello, Tamba. Uh, hello, Paul. Ah, oh, snakes are great. <laughs> uh, they are, aren't they? And there are some monkeys in the jungle too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and crocodiles. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, goodness me, Tommy, give me a little bit of a fright. What else is there in the jungle? Uh, How hmm. about tigers? <gasps> Roar! 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 What's it like to be a tiger in the jungle? What's it like to be a tiger in the jungle? What's it like to sit in trees and frighten all the bees? Here we go, let me show you what we do. Roar, 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 roar. Look up here, it's me. Roar, 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 roar. Listen for the rustle in the trees. <laughs> What's it like to be a monkey in the jungle? What's it like to be a monkey in the jungle? What's it like to swing in trees and pick each other's fleas? Here we go, let me show you what we do. Look up here, it's me! Listen for the rustle in the trees. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. What's it like to be a snake in the jungle? What's it like to be a snake in the jungle? What's it like to hide in grass and frighten all who pass? Here we go. Let me show you what we do. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Look down here, it's me. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Wriggle, wriggle, hiss. Listen for the rustle in the trees. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. What's it like to be a crocodile in the jungle? Snap, snap. What's it like to be a crocodile in the jungle? Oh, what's it like to lie in lakes and frighten all the snakes? Here we go, let me show you what we do. Snap, snap, snap. <gasps> snap, snap, snap. Look down here, it's me. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. 
Listen for the rustle in the trees. Roar, roar, roar. Snap, snap, snap. Roar, roar, roar. Oh, snap, snap, snap. What's it like to be an animal in the jungle? What's it like to be an animal in the jungle? What's it like to sit in trees and frighten all the bees? Here we go, let me show you what we do. Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> Look up here, it's me. Wrinkle, wrinkle, hiss. Snap, snap, snap. Listen for the rustle, listen for the rustle. Listen for the rustle in the trees. <laughs> oh, I love being a snake. <laughs> I'm going to be a window snake. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched? Which one will it be? It's the square window. Isn't you ever been stung by me? Mm. When? When? When I was five. This is Sam. Mm, this is delicious. And this is Finn. They're sitting in their garden having something to eat. Dad's made them some bread and honey. Mmm, delicious. The honey was made by bees. They buzz around the flowers collecting nectar, which they turn into honey. Without bees, we wouldn't have honey. There are bees flying around in Sam and Finn's garden today. They're visiting their favourite flowers and it looks like they're finding lots of nectar. Each flower has only a tiny bit of nectar, so a lot of bees have to visit a lot of flowers to make enough honey to put in a pot for us to eat. The boys have had enough bread and honey now, so they're off to see what other insects they can find in the garden. White butterflies are visiting some of the brightly coloured flowers. Finn knows there's something very interesting under this stone, so he's lifting it up. <gasps> Look! It's an ant's nest. Lots of scurrying ants, busy moving things around. Some are carrying eggs, Others have found bits of food which they're taking away to store. When I was looking for beetles and creatures, I looked at the rock and wondered what was under it. And when I picked it up, I saw ants and eggs under it. The ants like being under the stone because it's got lots of shade and other creatures can't get under and eat them like caterpillars and birds. Sam is looking for wood lice. He's looking under bits of old wood and dead leaves. He's found one and very, very carefully he picks it up. think it feels like? It feels very ticklish. I can only feel the legs though, not much the feelers. You don't really think they're feeling around for anything. Finn's found a shield bug. It's bright green. <laughs> it's running all over his hand exploring. Shield bugs, when you annoy them, they turn, a, they turn around and they give off this awful smell. 
The garden is a great place to see lots of insects. Insects that fly and insects that scuttle about on the ground and around the plants. Sam and Finn love exploring their garden and finding insects. Something, Paul? Yes, I was thinking it would be good fun to make something, Tamba. Yeah. I'm going to make an animal, but it's not an animal that you or I have ever seen before. Uh, oh, but if we've never seen it before, how do we know what it looks like? <laughs> well, good question, Tamba. We're going to use our imaginations. We're going to make it up as we go along. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I've got lots of exciting things here, and I'd like to start by using this lovely great big red lump of modelling clay. Great. I'm going to squash it, and then I'm going to put a hole in the middle. <laughs> like a donut. No, oh, it is like a donut, but I don't <laughs> think I'll bother trying to eat it. I don't think it would taste very nice. <laughs> now it's got the hole in the middle. I'm right. going to take this. Do you know what this is, Tamba? Ah, oh, I do. It's elastic. It is elastic. Mm. Do you know what this is? I'm sure you know what this is. This is a button. button. Yeah. Elastic on a button. Mm. Right, here we are. Look. So you're putting the elastic through the hole? In the modelling clay and then I'm squashing it all back mm. up. Just like that. And there's the ah. button on the bottom, you see. Yeah. It stays there quite nicely. Mm. And then I'm going to make it to a nice round shape again. There we are. Hee hee hee. So there we are. Now look. Now, what else is our creature going to have? Well, our um, creature is going to have some wings. Oh, great. How will I make wings? Well, I've got some lovely coloured tissue paper, some pink and some blue. And I'm going to fold them into some squares. Here we are. So I fold once. And I'm going to fold again, just like that. See? And oh. then I'm going to cut all the way around. <laughs> snip, 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 oh, snip. So it's going to be a winged creature. It is. And it's Look, got... it's got some lovely pink and blue wings now, Tamba, that we've just cut. Oh, yeah, they look a bit like butterfly wings. They do, don't they? Mm. Ah, so our creature can fly. But how am I going to make these stick on? I'm mm. going to show you. Let's take some blue modelling clay. And we're going to take a pencil. And I'm going to pop that pencil ooh, all the way through the middle. Oh, just like oh. that. But when I pull it out, you'll be able to see that it's made oh, a hole. Yeah. And then... We take our piece of elastic again and we pop it through the hole, Tamba. Just oh, like that. I see. Hey, hey. Uh, so will the red ball be like his body? I think yeah. so. And then he's got some wings. Yes. Uh, but he hasn't got a head. <gasps> You're right, Tamba. What <laughs> should we use for a head? What about this? Some yellow modelling clay. Could you just roll that for me a little bit, Tamba, yeah. with your hand? Roll, 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 roll. Roll, 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 roll. Well done. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> now I need my blue modelling clay again and I'm going to pop a hole in the yellow modelling clay. Ready? With my pencil all the way through. There's another hole. <laughs> and the elastic goes all the way through again. <gasps> and sits on top for his head. Just like that. <laughs> Lovely! Yay! Yeah. Look! Boing, 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 <laughs> boing, boing, oh, boing. He's brilliant! <laughs> what else shall finished? we put on him? Oh, well, we do need something else, don't we? Mm. What about some eyes? Oh, good idea! He Let's use some of this see lovely where he's going. blue modelling clay. He, 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 he. Look at that. I've made two round little balls for the eyes. Ah. I'll get rid of that over there. One eye. Two eyes. His mm. eyes are blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about a mouth, Tamba? Oh, yes, he's going to need a mouth. Shall we use some red modelling clay from his body? Good idea. Let's roll a it. A nice red mouth. Into a little kind of sausage shape like that. And then let's pop his smile. There we are. 
Hey! <laughs> That's good, isn't it? It's great. I've got some lovely coloured feathers here, Tamba, and I think it'd be nice to use one of these Ooh. for his hair. <laughs> He's got <laughs> spiky hair like me. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does look a bit like Tamba's hair. And what about some oh, yellow it, feathers? Yeah, we could use them for a tail. Good he needs thinking, a tail. Tamba. Excellent. Yeah. An orange feather makes number one. Yeah. A red one, it makes number two. A yellow, it makes number three. Ooh. Our boingy bird is done for you to see. There He's we are. He's so colourful. Way. <laughs> That's boing, great. boing, boing. There we are. I think I know which noise he makes. Oh, what's that, Tamba? Hmm. Boo! Oh, <laughs> goodness me, you made me jump! <laughs> I like the word boo. How about you? Do you like it too? That little word boo? Boo! Who said boo? Was it you? Not me. You see, I was having tea when something said boo. So, who said boo? Was it you? I went moo, not boo. And I went moo too. So, who said boo? Was it you? And I said shoo, but well, we, we didn't, didn't go, go boo. boo, so who went boo? Yoo-hoo! It was me, dee-hee, didn't you see? It was me who said boo. You? <laughs> <laughs> you could never say boo, not at all. You're much too small. Too small? Listen to my call. Have you ever played the game Peekaboo? It's a great game to play with a baby. Let's play it together, you and me, just now. Put your hands in front of your face and say Peekaboo! <laughs> Let's play it again. Put your hands in front of your face and say Peekaboo! <laughs> ah, the Tickabilla clock, it made me jump. Tickabilla, talkabilla, tickabilla, talk. What's the time on the Tickabilla clock? Ah, the long hand is pointing to the number 12, and that means that it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the number 7. It's 7 o'clock. And what's below the Tickabilla clock? What's this? It's a back scratcher. You use it for scratching itches. And I think that someone's got an itch today in Higgledy House.
Justin stopped dancing, he's got an itch. Justin, Sarah Jane thinks you're dancing. <laughs> get all itchy, all scritchy and scratchy. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, Lorna, Lorna, are you all right? Uh, yes, Paul, it, it's just that I've got a itchy, tickly feeling up my nose. Uh-oh. Oh. <sighs> Early this morning as I 
lay in my bed Something sneaked onto the pillow by my head A tickle crept up when my eyes were closed A tickle crept up and roast up my nose I wriggled and ruffled But the tickle, it stayed I sniffled and snuffled But the tickle, it still played Went my nose as it started to itch The tickle had given me a terrible twitch You can't catch me, the tickle it cried Go right up your nose, this is the place where I lied I wriggled and rustled But the tickle, it stayed I sniffled and snuffled But the tickle, it still played what should I do? I thought to myself, I know I said, and got a book from the shelf. Tackling Tickles was the name of the book, so I opened it up and then took a look. I wriggled and ruffled, but the tickle, it stayed. I sniffled and snuffled, but the tickle, it still played. What you must do when a tickle tries to tease Is to wriggle and itch until you sneeze So I wriggled and itched and gave my nose a blow What happened next? Do you really want to know? I wriggled and ruffled But the tickle, it stayed I sniffled but the tickle, it still played Until suddenly, quickly, a feeling arose A sneezy, wheezy feeling at the tip of my nose Achoo! I said at the top of my head And I waited, and I felt And the tickle had fled I wriggled and ruffled But the tickle I sniffled and snuffled No more tickles from now on Are you feeling better now, Lorna? Oh, much better, thank Wonderful. you, Paul Oh, but wait a minute, what is this? A familiar feeling you could not miss The tickle had disappeared from my nose And travelled all the way down You haven't got a tickle. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.